Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Palladium Theatre, I invite you to stand and welcome Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, oh, what? That's why there's a throne. That's right, Mr. Cal. The boss is finally here. <laughs> it's so good to see a member of the royal family sitting next to Simon. It's lovely to see you, Camilla. Yeah. <laughs> it is rare indeed for the sovereign uh, to appear on such an insignificant occasion. But as I look down on you all, I am happy to patronize you. <laughs> Queens have always patronized the arts, and the arts have relied upon the support of queens. <laughs> and, uh, it is with regret, ladies and gentlemen, I have noted that recently Britain's Got Talent has suffered enormously there have been far too many below average variety acts. And I'm not referring to Alicia Dixon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm sure you all agree that plastic is the modern scourge on the face of this planet. Of all the men and women of these islands, no greater innovation has been made than by our judging panel, who have stored a great amount of plastic in their faces. <laughs> oh, funny. That direction. <laughs> For their services to the entertainment industry, and, and Dick, as well as David Williams, have been awarded OBEs. Simon, there is only one thing standing between you and the knighthood, and that's the golden buzzer. <laughs> I have much pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in declaring the search for talent in Great Britain officially open. <laughs> Lovely to see you again, ma'am. It was really, really funny, really unexpected. I could just watch this forever, I think. I think the royal family would absolutely love you. I have to say, the most original, funny, most brutal act. Loved it. I want to say thank you for finally agreeing to come on the show after all these years. And you're funny, I didn't know that. So... Now we get to the important part. David? Your Majesty, it's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Ma'am, it's a yes from me. I want you to perform in front of you on the Royal Variety. <laughs> so it's four yeses. That's a good start. So good. We have met before. We hosted a TV show for you. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, with all the horses. Was, you mean Anne and Camilla or not? 
Thank you, Mum. Thank you so much. We'll see you Thank you, Mum. See you at the next stage. Act normally. <laughs> Here we go again. Breaking news this evening, Her Majesty the Queen will be appearing on the live semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. Let's go now to our correspondent who can tell us more. Yes, there is a frenzy on the streets of London as news has broken that Her Majesty the Queen is in the live semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. Oh, what? The live semi-finals? She's an inspiration to all of us in her 90s, and she's still working hard. I'm sure the Queen will enjoy Britain's Got Talent. She enjoys most shows anyway. I'm from Belgium, and I'm uh, really surprised uh, the Queen is in the, the semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. Yes. Simon always recognises a star when he sees one, and he's certainly got one here with the Queen. I think Britain absolutely needs something like this at the moment. I think the Queen's going to do an amazing job, and she's going to do the country proud tonight. Come on, Lizzie! Lizzie to win! And I do believe that I can give you some live pictures now. figure in embossed satin enters this vast auditorium, moving amongst loyal members of the great British public. On occasions such as this, she is always seen to possess dignity, grace, and above all, medicated hand wash. And now the Queen makes her way to the throne, where she will address the nation. My lords, ladies, and commoners, <laughs> I am most pleased to speak to all of you this evening, and as I look out around this theatre, I see it is filled with national treasures. To Simon, Alicia, David, and of course, me. <laughs> Sorry, Camilla. <laughs> Of course, you know, I jest. I've always enjoyed a good joke, like Simon's hairdresser. <laughs> it is important to remember that even if you have no talent, no charisma, and an appalling dress sense, you can still be on Britain's Got Talent <laughs> as a judge. <laughs> Recently, we all celebrated the birth of a son to one of the nation's favorite couples. Hearty congratulations, Stacey Solomon <laughs> and Joe Swatch. <laughs> we have so many grandchildren and great-grandchildren that Prince Philip and I uh, struggled to remember their names. <laughs> Only the other day, I said to Harry, um, what's the name of the one who dribbles all the time and wets the bed? And he said, Grandad. <laughs> I may be 93, but I'm actually dying with the kids. I binge watch television, or as we call it, Netflix and Phil. <laughs> we often lose ourselves in the box set of The Real Housewives of Windsor. But my favorite show is The Crown. It's all about one, and what one gets up to. I still think they should have called it The One Show. <laughs> in these troubling times, I believe we should all have confidence in this great nation. House prices may fall, but I can assure you that every single person in Britain 
will own a house. It's the one I live in. <laughs> and you're most welcome any time. £24 per adult and £13.50 <laughs> for children. And if you're becoming bored listening to a pensioner who dresses ridiculously and has paid millions for doing absolutely nothing, maybe you shouldn't have Simon on the judging panel. <laughs> Three cheers for the Queen. Hip hip. Hip hip. hip. And may God bless you all. funny, even if somebody on the end didn't find it funny. <laughs> but I can't help thinking this would be the most wonderful thing if you won this show <laughs> and were on the Royal Variety <laughs> performance. <laughs> I think the universe would explode, but I would love to see it. Well done. That was amazing. Thank you so much. the show when I heard that you're on the bill tonight I thought oh god here we go you are brutal <laughs> you were quite nice to us tonight wasn't she David Speak to well maybe not you two on that end but um, I'm feeling okay at the moment no it was a really strong opener I think you delivered it in such a calm cool collected way I think you're brilliant well done thank you so much yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah, I agree with David. I think it's brilliantly constructed. I think every single line is very, very funny. I think you were funnier than your actual audition. And I'd go as far to say that it takes real balls to be on that stage. <laughs> Ma'am. And you have them in abundance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm with David, though. <laughs> the idea of you being at the Royal Variety <laughs> is just hysterical. Um, look, you are really rude. Uh, <laughs> but actually, I mean, the X is sort of a compliment in a way, because... It's the kiss. It's yeah, it's like a kiss, kiss. yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you're unique. Uh, and... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And I guess one way or the other, you will be at the Royal Variety. I'll be up there, in the box, or uh, down on the stage playing bagpipes. <laughs> oh. I look forward to that. <laughs> Thank if you very much. The, if the Queen... Wait, wait for you, manage to just wait one second. If the Queen is your favourite, follow the details on screen, but not until we've seen all eight acts tonight. There she is, one more time. Let's hear it. For Her Majesty the Queen. Start that, a very good start. Don't forget about the BGT app this week. It lets you rate the acts at home. You can customise your own buzzer and test your knowledge of this week's talent. Plus, you get five free votes with free app voting sponsored by MS Food. Time for a quick break, but when we come back, we've got Wind Power with State of the Fart. Yes! We will see you for that yes! in just a few minutes. <laughs>